here and the third one uh, right there and the last one I'll place over here. We'll designate this corner here, the right-handed corner on the upper side, as the leader. The other two will be followers. I'll actually show you how we do it. See, what happens is you go backstage, you go through the trap door, and arrive over here. So that's two. May have been a little bit fast. I'll do it again. The second one goes similar pattern. It goes backstage. It goes up through the trap door and arrives over here. And that's, uh, that's number three right there. So that's uh, three underneath there. The last one goes the hard way. It has to go down through the trap door all the way over and arrive over here. So that should be all four. Because that's the easy part. The hard part is you snap your fingers. And you all go back down to the trap door and arrive back underneath. He can actually hypnotize you to believing that he had the copper coins in the uh, right hand and the silver coin in the left. But as I said, that's hypno that was a hypnotic illusion. Actually, it was the other way around, you see. This is actually even a tactile illusion. That is, you can actually feel the illusion as well as see it. He said, tell you what, kid. He says, look, go ahead and take the uh, copper coins and place them back in the purse yourself. So that's what I did. He said, now you know they're in the purse because you felt them yourself, he told me. He says, now you know that the silver is out here. But all he had to do was think. And he creates this illusion on your mind that the uh, two uh, copper coins were on the table, and the silver coin was the one in the purse. Of course, this is not how they actually play it on the streets. How they play it on the streets, they use the pocket. They'll show you the two copper here. They'll show you the silver. They go, remember the two copper in the hand? The silver goes in the pocket. And he says, what was left in the hand? Well, I wasn't sure about it now. I said, well, my luck is probably copper and silver. You know, I lost, and the day went downhill from there. They say I happen to be going to uh, England, say. All I'd have to do is think of England, give it a rub, and it would look like an uh, English coin. You see? Then I could, of course, put it back in the purse and spend it later. Now, that, that would leave me with just uh, two left. I just give one of them a squeeze and a shake, and the second one changes into a penny. I leave me one left. Look, you just get the stone near it for just a few seconds, and then you pick it up. And when you do that, the uh, third one looks like an English penny, you see. But you have to be real careful and not get the stone near the purse when uh, you're not thinking of a country. Because if you do, it could possibly change into uh, any country in the world.